New tonight, a new trend is popping up across the nation. 7-Eleven stores blaring classical music to keep people from hanging out. And if it sounds familiar, that's because one store here in Orlando did this exact same thing years ago. Fox 35 anchor Amy Caulfield looks into if it's working. <laughs> As classical music plays, this area in Texas is emptier than usual. And now since they have this music, they have this music going on, we have less traffic now with the homeless out here. 7-Eleven store owner Jacket Patel has been playing music 24-7 to deter homeless people from being in the area, which he says is a big problem. Especially a lot of my female customers and my young customers are scared to come here because there are people constantly hanging around in the parking lot soliciting for money. He tells us he's had to pay a professional to clean up needles. Others who work nearby say they've been attacked. So I had to carry this big old knife with me just to defend myself and I mean, it, it's sad that you have to do that. Patel says he started playing the music about 10 days ago and got the idea because other store owners have done it. Studies have shown that the classical music is annoying, opera is annoying, and I'm assuming they're correct because it's working. A 7-Eleven in Orlando did this back in 2020. People who live nearby complained. It's just so high-pitched, and I think it's because of that that the sound just resonates and carries. And the city said the store didn't have a permit for outdoor speakers. That store at Roslyn and Central near Lake Eola has since been demolished. But in Texas, some people think the music is a good thing. It's helping out. It's, it's not annoying to us because they don't bother us, but it bothers probably them because they're, on, they're doing the drugs. It's the right solution. Others think the opposite. Frederick Carter says he started going to a different 7-Eleven that doesn't have the music. This music is not really good. I mean, it's loud. It's obnoxious to me. I don't like it. You can hear it a long ways off, you know. It's very disturbing. For now, the music will stay. We are in the process of turning it down, or down uh, because people who live across the parking lot are also my customers. And, you know, we don't want to make their life difficult. Amy Caulfield, Fox 35 News.